I know how this is going to end. Okay, thank I you, know. Mr. Price. Thank you. I think I see one of your cats coming out of your apartment. He's over there. There he is. Thank you. Crazy cat lady. Jane! Dempsey! I brought home some pizza, does anyone care? Who is this kid? No one's special. What is the reason I'm watching him? Simple. I plan to kill him. When will I do this? Today. At exactly 2.57. Two minutes before his sister arrives. Where will I do this? No, I'm afraid I can't tell you that, but that's not interesting. Why? Why is what's interesting? Nope, I don't have father issues. I don't have any mental or physiological abnormalities. I don't do this to make a political statement. For these? Nope. These are reminders. The real reason is the moment. The moment right before their eyes close forever. All their hopes, their dreams, everything that's said or left unsaid, expressed in one moment. Nothing like it. Who am I? I'm your co-worker. I'm your neighbor. Or maybe I'm your friend. You'll never know me, but I'll know you. 
I know your address. I know your schedule. I know your worst fears. But most importantly, I know how this ends. to only have afternoon classes on Mondays makes the weekend a little bit longer. And <laughs> what a weekend that was. You need to get your head back into school. Class starts in an hour. Star radio, it's not working. Oh, whoa. Look at all those balloons out there. They must be left over from some kid's birthday party or something. Oh, hey, pull over. There's one low enough for me to grab. I'm not sure this is a good idea. There's something wrong with that balloon. Let it go. It's a party balloon. What could be wrong with it? I don't like this. I'm leaving. Andy! Wake up! You've got to wake up! Oh, no. Hello? Hello? I'm going to get help. I'll be right back. You've got to help me. Andy is dead and I'm so scared I don't know what to do. What are you talking about? We found this weird balloon on the side of the road, so she picked it up and it exploded and got green slime all over her. And now she's dead. Did you call the police? There's some kind of interference with the cell phones and radios, and I don't remember where the police station is. Did you get any of the slime on you? No, but I did get a sample for Professor Schmidt. He's going to analyze it. He was so distracted that he barely noticed I was there. Professor Schmidt, can you tell me what this is? It exploded all over Andy, and now she's dead. Everything is under control. I'll deal with it later. But... Be gone with you! I'm in the middle of something. Well, let's go see what he found. Oh no. He's dead. Let's go find my brother. He'll know what to do. Okay. Hunting. Let's go! Stop here. This is my brother's office. gotten inside and gotten them. Look. Oh no. Get behind me. I know how this ends and it isn't pretty. Here. Take this. Where'd you get this? I found it on my brother's desk. He doesn't need it anymore. I'll clear a path. What? Hurry up. We've got to get to the school and warn everybody else. Okay.
my god, look at them all. They're still coming. What do we do? Run. Just run. Toronto's on the breakaway. He digs left. He digs right. He shoots. He misses. They pass it back up front. He shoots and scores. Can you believe how cheap this place was? I know. It's almost like something's wrong with it or something. Right? But it's like completely furnished. Everything looks good. Woo! Yeah, best two out of three? Maybe tomorrow. Feeling kind of tired from the move today. <sighs> yeah, that sounds good. Basements, but I'm not sure which one. Yeah, come on. Oh. Hey, Eric, do you mind if I take the other basement and you take this one? This one still kind of creeps me out. <laughs> sure, it still weirds me out that there are two, but right? like, what's that about? See you soon. See you in a bit. There's someone underneath the basement stairs! Alright, let's check it out. No, no, no way, man. I know how this story ends. No, Eric, we can't go down there! Alright. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, come on, it's fine. We just said we were gonna shine our flashlights in here. Listen, there's nothing back here. Anything? Nope. Well, that's creepier than if we found it. Oh, come on. I'm telling you, I saw some hands. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, here it is. Yeah, that should be the one. Okay. Why isn't it working? I'm Jim, the electrician. I didn't think anybody lived here yet. Wait a minute, were you here last night? Yeah, I was. Was that you that was walking around upstairs? Yeah, that was me. And was that you who surprised us when we were trying to fix the breaker box? Yeah, yep, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, oh. This is all just a big misunderstanding. This stuff happens all the time. Wait, wait, wait. What were you doing under the stairs in the second basement? I was only in the first basement. The one with the breaker box in it. But... No. <laughs>
it's really just difficult for me to drive on the side of the road to be honest I don't even know where I am oh hello this is my version of a selfie home here we are oh my gosh home sweet home wow oh, it's beautiful do you like it, Marguerite? Oh my god. Marguerite, it's do you like so it? So beautiful. What do you think, Marguerite? My name is Eliza. And I'm Marguerite. We're here in the beautiful country of Vermont because Dr. Finch <laughs> told us that we would really benefit from some exposure to nature. What we have is a lack of mm, being outside. So if you can see, there's some green around here. We've got our favorite heels on. We may be in the country, but you know what they say. You can you can take the 365 style is what we're going for. Cheers to that. I have a good feeling about this place, and I think that we're going to enjoy ourselves. Just relaxing. There's a beautiful wind chime happening. It's gorgeous. Can you hear it? Here's some more over here. Ooh. I can't really describe to you the splendor that we feel. I love the outfit today. Marguerite looking very country in her plaid. I love it. It's got some tassels. This is my fur. I can wear it as a cap if I want. This is a very exotic flower. Only native to Vermont. I don't think it grows anywhere else. Now I am going to really just document and feel the area here. Really getting out there now. Marguerite has been acting a little bit off and I'm not sure what it is, but she hasn't been responding very well and she... hear a noise. Marguerite? 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 Where were you earlier? I was looking for you. Outside. Well, I'm going to the forest to look for Marguerite. What we have is a lack of being outside. Dr. Finch? Just let in the nature, Eliza. Marguerite? You know how this ends.
Ginger! Ginger, come here! Ginger! 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 